Hello everyone, it's Animation4, welcome back to some more Sky Factory 3 Quarter Chunk Challenge. I am here in our storage room, which has expanded very slightly. I added um, a new compact and go up here for the upper two tiers of looting bags. There's still uh, rare looting bags in here so that they can go into both. I guess if one fills, I can just dump it into the other one. And that's all good. So last episode we finished off making these item conduits in the alloy smelter. I also put up a sag mill so we can make some stuff later. But there's, there's some stuff I want to show you first. Alright, the first one is the mop farm. We're gonna do the mop farm first, because uh, I have to. So, if you remember when I talked about it before, the mob farm had to be 24 blocks away, and the max is 32. So I optimized that as much as I could. When standing on this platform, uh, this layer right here is 24 blocks away. I can show you that. So, where are we down here? At 66, so 24 over 66 is 90. So, I'm um, said to be at least at Y level 90. Right here, Y level 90. Like 89, oh boy. Uh, and here we have another layer above at 93. This one's three tall, so it can spawn Enderman. And the max distance away would be 32, which is 98. This one's only at 97. I could have made the bottom layer three if I wanted to, but um, it is spherical. So if I was standing in this corner, mobs would be able to spawn in this corner. So I'm like, I can take a few less Endermen for more more guaranteed spawning spaces. Essentially, what I went for. Uh, so yeah, so we got these three layers, a lot more spawning space than before. Um, obviously, now how are they gonna get to this this cage right here? Well, this is actually something we need to experiment with. So let's. Let me show you what I've found and what we gotta try. Where's... Okay. So there's this, um, there's this entire mod called Mob Grinding Utils. That has a bunch of utils for grinding mobs. Fancy that. The biggest one I see here is the Mob Fan. Uh, pushes mobs in the facing direction. It can be modified with Mob Fan upgrades. Uh, I'd rather not have to upgrade them because the upgrades are really expensive. This is 11 aluminum for one width modifier, which might be good. Uh, uh, the height modifier is 11 iron, and the distance modifier is 11 steel. So if this, this, I, I'm just gonna make one, we're gonna experiment with it to see how well it does, because I actually don't have any steel yet. Uh, so here we go. I don't know how to best test this. So if I put this over here, Will it push me off this edge? There's water down there, so that's fine. Uh, I need to turn it on. I might need redstone for it, which is fine. Actually, is that going to be a problem? No, I can just put levers. Like, where am I going to... How am I going to pry it with redstone? If I just... I think if... So, so the plan is to have uh, these all in a line. But if... That's not a lever. <laughs> Oops. Plan is to have them in a big line, so if, um, I'll just show you. Ah, no, I've been trapped. Put it here. Okay, it worked. That is not far. What? It's two blocks. It pushes you two blocks. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> That's not good. I need them to push more than two blocks. A lot more than two blocks. I'm gonna go up here and count how many blocks they need. How many blocks does this thing have to push? Uh, it's only these. So it only has to push four blocks. But that's still two upgrades per. Um, I put one right here. Six wide. So it gets tricky. I want I want to minimize the amount of upgrades I need, essentially. I can use width modifiers, which upgrades the width by one. I think that's one on both sides. So if I have one here and upgrade the width one, it'll get all three of these. So my first thought is two fans, one here, one here, uh, each with one width upgrade and two distance upgrades. Or I could put one here and have three width upgrades, one distance, which is... Two less upgrades, actually. 
it's two less distance upgrades for one more width. That's worth it. I might end, end up doing. Um, and if I have one here that goes the whole way, these all will get pushed to this back row of two. So I only need one here. That'll actually work pretty well. So essentially, um, I don't know how to describe this. They'll get pushed this way towards these two rows, and then a fan over here will push them this way towards the whole. So I'm gonna. I gotta figure out how to make steel because I need distance upgrade. Okay, this isn't so bad. It just it takes coal powder, which I actually made this sag mill specifically for coal powder. And I think it should work. I need a flint to. I'd like to have a some dark steel in here, but don't have that yet. Yes, yeah, so this coal will should compress it to coal powder or grind into coal powder, get two each. Yeah, so it's two coal and iron for a steel. That's not actually that bad, considering how much coal I have right now, which is five stacks. The, the problem is iron though. Um, eleven iron per upgrade. I have three layers. Well, it's a lot of iron. Uh one. 44 iron per layer. Yeah. Plus the steel. A lot of iron. I am probably going to have to do some sifting. I'm going to be honest, I was kind of against building a smeltery for a while because it takes up a lot of space. Space isn't really something I have to just throw around willy nilly. So I've been against it, but it's come to the point where it'll be really beneficial. It's just going to be a small one, just a 2x2. Two two. Ouch. I don't know. And it doesn't feel as space efficient because it's not as big of an area, but I think the... I think it'll work. I think it'll work just fine. Put that there. Build it up one higher. Yeah. Ah, my, I can't... And when I made the drain, it looked like you could put things multiple sides. So I'm going to try, because I would like a casting basin and a table for different things I'd want to do. Now what we need now is lava to put in it. And luckily a little while ago, I restarted the lava maker, this time with a uh, tank to fill. It's got 15 buckets. That's, that's a good amount of lava. Should fill the needs of a single smeltery. All right, we're going to try this out with some iron. So with these iron ore pieces, you craft it into an iron ore chunk, which you can then smelt into an ingot or go into a, a thing, a thing, go into a smeltery for two ingots worth. So let's see how many blocks we can make. Um, this would be 32 ingots. I want to get to 36, 18, be four blocks. That sound right? I think that sounds right. I can only do eight at a time though. I wonder if the the put in take out glitch is still in effect. Probably not. No. Uh, it used to be if you scroll wheeled stuff in and out, it would speed everything up. I guess not anymore. There you go. It's smelting away. Um, <laughs> looks kind of funny in there. Some floating. Iron pieces. Yeah, well, I'm not here to judge how the mod looks. I should get some iron out of it. Uh, and then I can show you a little trick I think I found. Once, once I'm done with the iron. Alright, it's all melted down. Six blocks. Looks like this is working. Beautiful. Yeah, so this is actually going to double our iron output. So instead of each of these being worth a quarter ingot, each of these is worth half an ingot. So slightly better. <sighs> and then I can make casts and dump it over here also. Ooh, that looks cool. I haven't used tinkers in so long, it's like... Oh, that's neat. I'm gonna put a, a thing here to auto-pull stuff out, probably. I might not set something up to auto-drain, but definitely something to auto-take things out of this so I can drain the next one. Uh, I'll figure it out. Okay, I finally have enough to make the mob fan 
distance upgrade. Now there is a chance that this goes more than one. It just says one, but maybe maybe I don't know. Did that even do anything? Doesn't look like it did anything. That goes there. It's not pushing me any further. I'm so confused. Like, I'm two blocks away now. Dead end, I'm not any further away. This is a weird fan. Let me just take this. Yeah, see, that only pushed me one block. Oh my god, I'm so, I'm so lost. I'm so lost. Hmm. Doesn't upgrade the side range. See, that one went further. That one got me all the way down here. But that's still... It doesn't look like it did anything. Like... I don't know. It's a weird fan. Maybe it would work better on mobs. I don't know. But this... This distance upgrade doesn't look like it did anything. Let's try the width upgrade. 11 of these... Fill it all up. And it goes like this. That's the height upgrade. Okay, I was wrong. Is this the aluminum one? Now I have iron rods. Um, width upgrade. Yeah, this is the aluminum one. Okay, I don't have any aluminum. <laughs> I have to make some. Okay, here it is. Width upgrade. Okay, so that does work. It now pushes me from further to the side. So that's good, at least that works. The distance one, I am not sure about. See, it got me there this time. Oh, it's very, it's very weird. Very glitchy fan. I might change how I designed this because of it. Yeah, I could. I could actually do something really easy. All right, so you want to know what the ultimate solution was? Here, take my ladder. The ultimate solution was... Da -da, lots of fans! And to move the hole to the center. So with this in the center, these fans only have to push two blocks. And have them all. I was thinking about just having one here and here and giving them each uh, width upgrades. But the width the width upgrades would cost um, 11 iron and two fans only cost 8 iron in a redstone but it's only 9 materials as opposed to 11. So yeah we got 16 fans per floor now once I get the ones by the ladder gone and the hole is now in the center. Probably looks weird because at the bottom here, the hole's in the corner. But I left this here because I was going to tell you why it's here. <laughs> I was... I knew from here I had to put the platforms a certain distance away. So I went up a floor and said, here's the killing chamber. When I didn't realize I could put the killing chamber up higher. And have this entire floor of something else. That's the... That's the reason. If I squeak. And we'll tear this down. We have this entire floor to something else besides the mob grinder. I just can't spawn mobs while sitting. Actually, I can on the top of the upper two floors. But not greatly. Yes, so the mobs will be dropping in the center. No need for any fan upgrades. The big question is now, how do I get the redstone to the fans to turn them on? And I'm still working on that. I might just go with levers and make it undisableable. Uh, unless you use light. I could set up some kind of light system. Um, but undisabled will probably work too. Make it so you can't turn it off. I don't anticipate needing to. But you know how I just made all those fans? I just found something. Um, and this was like this. I was only being blown this far. And I was really confused. You know why? There's a lever in the way. The lever was actually in the way. 
So when I was going up there, I was placing that, I placed the lever in front, I'm like, you know, that might prevent a mob spawn. So I placed it on the wall and turned it on. And then this happened. Yeah. I don't actually know how far it goes. It could easily blow me off the edge, probably. I actually kind of want to see. There's a water stream down there, so I'm not too worried. No, it's about that far. Okay, that's actually a good distance because I can now move the drop hole to the corner again, which is where I much preferred it. Because if you look now, this is this is a very crowded space. Uh, there's not really any room to put anything here just because there's, there's this big thing in the middle. So, I'm going to re-put it into the corner, rearrange the fans, and we should be good. I'm just gonna turn it on from there because this thing's got it. This thing's gotta get churning stuff out. Okay. It's done. I made some diamond spikes you can see there, which should in theory give me looting bags. All three layers have their fans on through levers underneath, so they don't block the spawning. And when I get basically to um where my where my storage area is, and I get that low, all these should be spawning. And just from testing the fans, they are pretty darn fast. I did a test for height. I set a fan up too high, like so it's one above my head and jumped. I got flung pretty far. Caught in the water stream though, so it's fine. All right, you're now out of range of every one of those spawning spaces. And cross our fingers. And hope we get some loot. So I have four red. Oh, we just got a looting bag. It's that easy. Yeah, and I do have a pipe coming from a item collector up there already. Um, I don't hear anything though. That might just be my sound. It might just be too quiet. Something definitely died because our looting bag count went up. We have for stuff in here. Where's my rotten flesh? Do I not have rotten flesh in here somewhere? That's a problem. Because this thing won't accept new items, it'll only accept items I already have. Okay, so we got 31, we got 25 gunpowder, 32 bones. There's nothing new yet. Nothing is spawned. Huh. I know, I saw something to go up. Like it's going up and it's going back down. Maybe they're just, maybe it's just so fast. Oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's moving. It's just killing them so fast. You can't even tell. Only got one looting bag though. I do need to get some rotten flesh to put in the system. Since I don't have any. Uh, what I'm probably going to end up doing though is make a diamond chest. Um, to catch basically... Any items I don't have in the system, but might want. Let's gotta do one step at a time. Iron. Wait, that is not enough glass. Diamond. If we get anything that's not in the system, I want it to go right here. And I'll connect a cable to that. reach oh rip need one more cable all right it is now time which we've all been waiting for it is the secret of getting slime balls it's actually pretty simple all you gotta do is hop in here you're gonna say that's not slime that's blood there's a difference i'm here to say yes there is but we can we can bridge that gap it's, it's a bridgeable gap we can work with this 2020 blood that is not enough i think um and it's we're almost there luckily we should be able to heal pretty fast or okay uh 150 ah Healing there. Nothing. Good. 
there's 160 ml buckets of blood. I'm gonna pour that onto a little table. It's gonna congeal. We're gonna get this. That's not slime ball. Well, we have our ways. What you can do with it is you can combine it to make a magma crane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it acts as a slime ball in some senses, but not all of them. However, what you can now do is combine it with water to get a slime ball. There you go. That's how you turn your blood into some slime. With this slime ball, we can actually now get slimy grass, I believe. If not, we can get um, semi mud. Um, if we can't get slimy grass, we can. Um, green slimy grass. Some, something to do. Then we can. Um, what was I going to say? We can make sponges. Uh, so, sponge actually has a crafting recipe. It takes slime blocks. Then you can sift the sponge and get stuff out of it. I guess, I thought that gave you slime stuff, but I guess not. But the, the big thing is, though, I want to plant this slime tree. It requires some slime. So, I'm going to be doing that for a little bit. Getting some blood. Mob farm is working. It was dumping uh, storable loot into here, so I had to turn this priority down. Now at negative one priority. So, that's the last resort. Uh, now up to five rare looting bags and an uncommon. So, we need... Yeah, looting bags slowly increasing. Not much, but slowly. And I do have a plan for that, but it's going to require uh, some ink. But that's going to do it for today. Oh yeah, look at that. They're going. They're definitely spawning. That's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching, as always. And see you next time. Bye-bye.